Welcome, welcome, gamers. Welcome to the Game Time Lounge. Smoke here. Let me just adjust this. We're gonna, we're gonna take a look at TT Olive Man. I've had this game for a while, but I want to share with the subscribers. Anybody wants to take a look, see. Uh, first thing I wanted to do is uh, send prayers out to the family of Dan Neen, who passed recently, qualifying for the TT Olive Man. So. This is in memory of him. He was a great rider, and he will be missed. Love you, Dan. All right, let's take a look at this. Glad you guys are here. Thanks for watching. I've had this game for a while um, since it came out. Uh, probably, well, not probably. In my opinion, it's the best motorcycle game on the planet I played MotoGP all of them this game blows them away this is the most dangerous motorcycle race in the world and you'll see why when you see this game if you're not familiar with TT Olive Man you will see the absolute blazing speed on this game all right, what we're going to do, I'm going to start a new career. We're just going to start over. I got some bikes. We're just going to start over for the live stream. Just give you guys a look-see here. Memory of Dan. My gosh, it takes so long to scroll to the other side. Oh my gosh. And it's not even the color that I wanted. But we will get there. Yeah, let's just go with black. And we'll do some red. Now we'll go black there too. Yeah, and then we'll do some red there. That looks good. We are racing this from Australia, so we're just going to throw Australia in there. Yes, guys, for those of you who don't know, I am American. That's why I have an American accent. But I moved to Australia. Late 2008, so... Yeah, let's buy a bike here. Let's see what kind of Yamaha we got here. Man, I don't want that Michael Dunlop, but... Or should we go with a Honda? Nah. Kawasaki? Let's take a look at this. 139 acceleration braking and handling. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to do it again. Don't back out. If you start the career on this, don't back out. We will get it. One more time for the derpness of derps. Just gonna have to live with the decision here. Let's do that, yeah. Huge fan of black and red. Yep. 
yeah, this game, guys, is amazing. I will tell you that. I like the handling. I'm, I'm a huge Honda fan, but I started my last one with a Honda. We're going to go with the Yami this time. So there we go. We got our bike. Nice. So let's do the event. You gotta set it up. Could figure this out when I first got the game. Oh no. Oh no, are you kidding me? One more time. That is annoying. I am so ADD. You guys probably saw it too, didn't you? I am so ADD. I just do not want the name in the wrong spot. So we do a speed round here. Yeah, I can't have the names backwards. I just can't. One more time. For the money. There we go. Yamaha. One more time. There we go. Now we're good. Alright, so. You have to go in here on the inbox and select an event. Couldn't figure out what was going on when I first got this game. And then back out and it'll let you start the event. So let's go. What do you say? Yes. Gonna have to use that bike. They recently updated this uh, this game, guys, to uh, full 60 frames per second and full of vibration on the motorcycle, which they didn't have before. And they've actually added sidecars, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I really haven't tried it. Uh, well, I have tried it, but singular, you know, just by myself. It's meant to be done multiplayer with uh, with another player where the guy on the sidecar leans to help you. Because if you go around the corners, it'll just like, you'll flip. So, let's go. I'm not super good at this game. I will tell you, it's got a steep learning curve. But uh, I have gotten better. It's very, very satisfying once you get it. Alright, let's go. Probably with the Yamaha. I should have went with green. And we have to do... What is this green crap on the friggin' windshield? Okay. Wow, that's annoying. And I haven't warmed up, so we'll see how this goes. But gotta go with the cockpit mode, it's just super awesome. And I'm bound to stack this bike sooner or later quite a few times. So fast. Whoa. I'll make this look easy, but it's not. If you get this game, I, I, I bought this game and uh, I almost took it back. I was getting really frustrated with it. I'm like, dude, this is just way too hard, but I am so glad I stuck with it. So absolutely so glad I stuck with it because once you get the... Uh, once you get the handling, it is literally the most satisfying motorcycle racing game on the market. No joke. The graphics are beautiful. Brilliant, clear, fast frame rate. It's amazing. Yes. Slow down, Bubba. Not gonna make that corner. Oh, that was close. 
Let's go. I couldn't even imagine racing this in real life. Couldn't even imagine. The guys who do this are absolutely fearless. I mean, literally no fear at all. They gotta have a friggin' wheelbarrow to like cart their cojones around. Uh, surprised I haven't stacked yet. Going pretty good. And there she goes. I actually did the whole race without stacking it. Amazing! Amazing. It's too amazing. I don't think I've ever done that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Actually, I don't know if they actually updated. I thought they did with the sidecars in the last update, but maybe they didn't. If you're let's see with good results, yeah, yeah, yeah I know all that. Uh, so let's go in. Let's set up some races. Okay, that's good enough. I'll tell you. Let's see if we see a difference here. All you got to do is just keep mashing the X button as fast as you can when you hit start event. Like that. Let's see if we see a difference. I thought it was with. I thought they updated it. Not sure. Don't pay any attention to me. I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. But I guarantee you, if you mash that X button, you will get the uh, extra click clarity on the graphics. Let's see. Yeah, I think. Uh, you guys are seeing it in 1080. I'm using a Pro, the 4K TV, but yeah, definitely. Definitely. I, I don't think they updated that yet. Pretty sure. Yeah, it looks like the clarity went up. We'll watch it. What? This Kawasaki's alright, you know. It's not bad. And that green part's not even, like, bothering me that much. This is gonna be a sharpie. Whoa, sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry. Coming after you, though. The throttle control in this game is so amazing. I cannot even tell you. It is beautiful. The control, just the whole feeling of the control is amazing. But the throttle control is so spot on, it's it's unfreaking believable. This is literally the best game I've ever played by KT Racing, Kiloton Games. They have nailed this game so... It's just absolutely amazing. I, I cannot give it enough kudos. Even if you don't like, like, like motorcycle racing games, you owe it to yourself to at least rent this to try it. Because it's just so satisfying. I can't, like... I went back and played Gran Turismo, and I'm like, wow, this is flipping boring. I am a huge fan of this game. I want to see them make, um, I don't know what they could do if they made a TT Isle of Man 2. I don't know what they're going to do to, like, top this, maybe. Through the graphics engine, it's going to be the same tracks, though. I don't know what they would add, but they could definitely come up with, like, use this racing engine, this handling model, and, uh, apply it to some other racing games. I'm really not a big fan of Milestone developers. 
they're okay. They have improved a lot since uh, with the last few games. But I'm just not a, I've got to be honest, I'm not a big fan of any of the milestone games. I've bought a few. I bought MXGP3. It was really stoked about the two-stroke engines and stuff and the Unreal Engine, but I just found it kind of mediocre. Oh, 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 I thought I was going to stack it there. Yeah, so I'm just giving you guys some tips out there to save some money. I mean, if you like some of their IPs and you know, some of the games they have, that's cool. They're not bad. It's just, I don't know. After playing this game, this is this is what I've been looking for. I would love to see Kill a Ton Game. Kill a Ton Games, if you're listening, I would love to see them give a shot at a motocross game. I really would. There is so much attention to detail in every little part of this game. It's just... I know, I know, I'm going on and on and on, but I'm just telling you, because it's so hard to find a really good uh, motorcycle game where the handling is good, the feel of it. Motocross games especially. I mean, motocross games are notorious for having, like, stiff handling. Like, not, not handling, but just looking stiff, especially if you're in the outside view. It just looks awkward. Really, same thing with quad games. Oh, no. I got to be careful in that corner. Hey, this Kawasaki's pretty good, I got to say. <laughs> So welcome to the Game Time Lounge, everybody. Sponsored by the Smoke and J channel. Thanks for being here. If you're watching the live stream, if you're watching this post live stream. Thank you, thank you, we love you. Give us a like. Smash that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, why don't you become a subscriber and show us a little bit of love. We don't cover every game here, but we play the ones that we like. We used to do all kinds of games, and I'm just like, you know what? I just don't like playing games that I don't like to play. So pretty much if you see something on this channel, it's probably going to be pretty good. Or we're thinking it's going to be good. And if we play it, we will tell you this game sucks balls. If it does. If any of you guys remember the uh, Makes Man Cry or uh, Dead Man Sky, I mean, video we did live stream. I bought that game. I was extremely disappointed with it. Live streamed it for three hours, hoping it would get better. Hoping, hoping, hoping. And it never did, and I deleted it and never played it again after the live stream. I didn't even care about the updates. I had such a negative first impression with that game. It was crazy. Hey, we got Dan in third place. Pretty good, eh? Not bad. Not bad at all. Vape break. Guys, I got a mute here. If this sound annoys you guys, just let me know in the comments. And, uh, yeah, I'll start muting. That's the sound. Here's it without it. I think I might just mute it anyway. Nobody's going to say, hey, Smoke, we want to hear you vaping, bruh. Ah, so thirsty. Whew. These bikes take a lot out of you. Let's get on our crotch rock and do it again. What do you say? 
What do you say? What do you know? Let's go. Second race on this track. And yes, I am obsessive compulsive with my mic. It's not the right spot. It bothers me. I should probably see a psychiatrist for that, but I probably won't. In the beginning, man, it's so intense because you're just right up here with the riders. I, man, when I first started this game, I wrecked so many times. I hit people. I was just thinking I was playing MotoGP or something. Cut. Ugh. And I hate knocking people over, man. I just hate it because I feel so bad. I feel, I feel guilty inside. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I am not feeling it there. All right, we got to get on our flow here. Let's go. This, this is a super sport bike. They start you out on the super sports, then you get the availability to buy a super bike, and that's where the massive speed comes in. It's got so much acceleration. You just constantly have to hold up on the joystick a little bit because it'll just wheelie. And it is a monster, and there it is a world of difference between the super sport and the super bike. Let me tell you. You'll be like, oh, comedy, yeah, I got this super sport down. Look at me, man. I'm riding this thing like a beast. Then you get on the super bike, it'll be like, smash, wreck, stack. <laughs> Hitting people. <clears throat> Come on, smack you. You got to be more fearless here. Everything is under control too much. It means you're not going too fast. You're not going fast enough. I'm just trying to warm up a little bit. I'm still placing pretty decent. Where am I at? Fourth. Come on, we gotta get at least third. Let's see if we catch this guy. Watch, I'll start pushing it and then I'm gonna stack it really bad like that. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Resist the errors to restart your live streaming. If I wasn't live streaming, guys, I would have restarted because I'm, I'm OCD like that. Oh, that was so sweet. Back and forth. We were on lap three. I don't know if I can catch that third place guy. The suspense is is crazy. Come on, let's go. Can you guys feel it just by watching me play? It's like, can you feel what I feel when I'm playing this? I, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, when they say it's right on the edge, CT Olive Man, right on the edge, I mean, they're not joking. That that was the perfect name for this game. Because that's, that's what really gets your cojones off when you play this game. Is, is when you're leaning around that corner and you just know you're on the edge of your tires, like the extreme edge and you're pushing that speed. Come on, last lap. The suspense. Can he do it? I want to at least get third if I can. Oh. Oh, oh, and I hit the wall. I passed him and I hit the wall. Oh, son of a biscuit eater.
and when you wreck, it comes off your budget. So like, it kind of sucks. Like if you wreck a lot, the repairs could be more than than you're winning from the position you got in the race. So to actually earn money, you have to. Uh, looks like we're gonna get fourth here, guys. Uh, if I push it real hard, I'm gonna wreck again and lose fourth. Oh man, that was close. I could feel my tires slipping a little bit there. Yeah, fourth place. Four. One, two, three, four. That's alright. That's alright. I think we got another race here. <coughs> Oh shoot, I forgot I was muted there. Good job, fella. Good job. Hold on guys, just pulling this up so I can see if you guys want to comment. If you want to comment, throw a comment in. I always like to get comments on the live streams and afterwards. If you guys feel like doing that, it's always nice. <clears throat> All right, I believe we're ready. Let's go. So far, we haven't done too bad, eh? Oh, that was sweet. Oh, we're in first. Can we keep it? Gonna have to push it. friend of mine Andrew shout out to Andrew you know who you are good friend of mine said the sound of the engine is his music I love that because it's so true quick look back oh we got some room Let's see if we can do this
was beautiful. Third lap. was close. Oh my gosh. Yes! Whew! You know, when I was doing this live stream, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to ever come in first on the live stream. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. But we did it. You and me, we did it. All right, let's see where that puts us. Maybe second, third, second. Yes! Is there one more or is this the last one? I think it might be one more. <laughs> that was it. Good job. We came in second. I'll take that any day of the week on this game. We'll do another race. I just want to get warm up, and then we'll take a stab at the uh, at the whole course. Uh, all 36 Ks, I think it is. Ooh, look at the weather; it's ominous.
Gotta watch those bumps. Have to slow down. See, so realistic. Hello, fence. Nice to see you. Don't you touch me. Oh, I uh, just lost my edge. All right. Told you. Riding on the edge. Oh, I can hear the motorbikes behind me. Yeah, he's back there. Wasn't parody, but we did it. Hear that engine. He's right behind me. Ah, you son of a flipping fudge gate. This is the uh, starter Kawasaki bike as well, though. It's not the best one, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Feel those ripples in the road. stacked it again every time I try to make up that extra second man every time well I shouldn't say every time sometimes that would be more accurate Ah, uh, too fast, too fast, too fast! Ah! So you got out ahead of me. Now the pressure's on, and I'm screwing up. Come on, Smoke, don't second guess yourself. Just flow with it, baby. Flow with it.
that's close. Riding on the edge. The outer sides of my tires are like, hello, pavement. And he stacks it again. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I gotta have my thumb on that joystick perfectly. To play this game and it feels uncomfortable. We gotta try to adjust it. But that's just me. Winding her out. Not hitting that wall again. Oh! Wow, just a little correction. Just a little correction. I think we're ready for that snatch snapper foul course or whatever it is. Learn how to say it, Scoob. Roll right, baby. You guys just stick with me on this video don't go away you guys are gonna laugh at how many times I stack it on <coughs> on the main course look at the freaking rubber and stuff up on the windshield and that's sick it's the little touches baby it's the little touches gotta love it ATD Attention to detail Watch this ripples Don't make ya ah, See I told you Smoke is always right See I give you guys tips and tricks in this game Like little Little inside details To the games Some of you guys want to like watch a three to four minute video, but Smoke ain't like that. You're rarely going to get a three to four minute video from Smoke. Smoke don't roll like that. Smoke gives you the goods. It takes a long time to dig for gold. And there's a lot of gold hidden in our videos on the Smoke and Jay channel. If you hang in there. That was a pretty nice turn, if I do say so myself.
Welcome, welcome. Thanks for watching. No! Critical adjustment and it didn't work. I hit just, just I think a little bit of the shoulder on the road there. Whew. That was intensity in 10 cities. Live at Budokan. Uh, let me pull this down a little bit. How you doing? Let me get down just a little bit here. There we go. I think it's a little bit better. Ah, Alright. Oh my god, is there another race? For cereal. What's up, Doramon? Doramon 112M. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, after this live stream, buddy. If you want, friend me up. It's electric smoke, all one word, just like you'd spell it. I've had this this PSN game game tag for since 2009. No numbers needed. I am the original electric smoke. Yeah, dude. Friend me up. We'll play. Faux show. I think what I'll do, guys, is I'll end the stream after this race. Because I've given you guys a good look at it. I think I'm going to do a separate stream. Separate stream for their snacker foul course or whatever it is. I always flub that up. I'm going to have to learn how to pronounce it. I might do that a little bit later. Oh, a curve jump. That was nice. Just want to give you a look at the beautiful graphics, the scenery. And hopefully, like... Hopefully you can feel the smoothness of the game, even though you're not playing it. It's so smooth and beautiful. It's a wonderful, wonderful game. I cannot say enough about it. I know I've been raving like a raving lunatic over this game, but I mean... If there was like six stars on a five scale, I would give this six stars. It's just absolutely... The best motorcycle racing game I've ever played in my entire long gaming career. It's mad good. Kiloton, Kiloton Games has literally outdone themselves. They better have backups with backups and backups for this engine. Because the handling and the graphics, everything, the sound, they don't ever want to lose this, man. This is, this is gold. And if you go on the PSN store, you'll see it got like four stars. <laughs> I know why. Because it's for the wusses who don't have enough patience to uh to get the handling down delete this freaking game frustrating i keep wrecking well keep at it bud perseverance pays off ppo baby ppo you get the juice when you hang in there it's wonderful 
absolutely sat at most satisfying rewarding racing experience I've ever played I mean even with car games and that's saying something because I, I, I am a racing lunatic I have like pretty much every racing game on PS4 and that's saying something Curb jump. I knew it. Sometimes I can get that curb jump. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you don't. Uh, Peter Paul, I'm Joe's got nuts. Peter Paul, mouths don't. Nah, I'm Sam. And no, I don't get paid by the Mars Company or whoever owns that. I just have all this useless, random jingles in my head. And the only way to get them out is to exercise the demon. Dormai, give us a sub up, man, if you're not already subbed. VR sub, love you, bro. Love you anyway. But uh, for those of you guys that are going to watch this post live stream, thanks for watching. Welcome to the Smoking J channel. You're always welcome here. You have found your home. Get on it. Yeah. Crotch rocket time, baby. Giddy up, baby. Giddy up. <coughs> Don't lose it. Sound is so good, too, in these Astros. what I did there. Watch the road. Watch the ripple. I was watching and still almost stacked it. your bike. No! Random thought. What would this game be uh, be like to play with a steering wheel? <laughs> Pff, 
probably doesn't even work. Deep Thoughts by Electric Smoke. One more lap. Then we're gonna have to damn this stream up. Whew. Cut that curb kind of close there. Watch it. Uh, see, I know where those spots are now. It's gonna make your bike jitter a little bit. Right here. I think you're better off staying to the inside on that corner. Just my opinion. Couldn't do that corner every time like that. Hello there, guardrail. Love ya. Love ya, babe. Hey there, little buddy. I see you. it on that race
All right, guys, I was going to show you the, uh, the Blake there, but I can't remember how to get into the uh, showroom. I hit it. Anyway, guys, we're going to wrap this stream up. This is Smoke coming to you live from the Smoke and J channel. Thanks for those of you who are watching the live stream. And for those of you who are watching, and sub up if you're not a subscriber. Again, I want to send our prayers and thoughts out to the family, loved ones, and good friends, the fellow riders of Dan Neen, as he passed recently. Uh, so our thoughts and prayers are going out to them. Uh, that's what motivated me to do this live stream, by the way. TT Olive Man. Fast and furious, gotta be fearless. And Dan Nearing was fearless up into the end, so God bless you, buddy. We'll see you guys later. If I don't see you on this side of the game world, I definitely hope to see you on the other side of the game world. Definitely. Smoke out. <laughs>